Yeah, they are. I think uh, you wake up this morning and you get to the rink, and I think guys uh, realize where they're at and they're excited. So it's a fun day. Uh, Aaron, I'm glad a uh, full participant out there. Any updates on him? No real updates yet. See how he does after today, but he went full workload, so I'm hoping we're ready here at least at some point in the series. Uh, who be not out there? Where Hagee looks like he left halfway through, and March not out there. Just updates on those guys. Yeah, kind of maintenance days, uh, dealing with a few things, and and kind of get reevaluated later today, and kind of get an update. Do you see a benefit yet yeah, from the guys that rested the last two games, a left your jump from them having you know, the time off? It's so hard. It's a practice, right? I mean, it's hard to really uh, get a feeling where they're at. They should be. They should have a lot of energy. I think there's a lot of excitement in the air, so that's always a good sign. I'll be practiced um, up in DC today. I, I'm assuming you guys are under the impression that. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Didn't think anything besides that. So, and, is there a chance game one? Or is it There's a chance game one again. We'll see how he did today. Um, seemed to be fine, but you know, you never know with these things. They're they're kind of they're kind of tricky here. So we'll we'll see how he does. Moving Marchman, is there a chance they could miss game one? Or um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't think so. But you know, with UB, I'm not. I got to get here back today, and then Marchie, I'm hoping for game one, but not sure. There's more to it than just looking at point totals and saying the East has a lot more depth than the West. But I know you're only focused on your series, but the Caps are an eight seed. Like Alex Ovechkin is on an eight seed player. Like it, when you look at just the craziness that is the East, I guess when did it hit you this season that the balance of power this year certainly seems like it shifted to this side of the league? Yeah, and they're not an eight seed. And the other year they could have been a top four seed. Um, they're a really good team. We played them three times early. Haven't seen them for a while, but they you're always watching. You see a lot of their games and et cetera. I know the last week they, they're a veteran team. They, they know it doesn't matter who they play. They've been there. They won the cup. They'll, they'll be ready to go, and they know you got to get through everybody. So for them, I think they were just kind of tuning up and getting ready for the series. And, um, but, yeah, they're not an eight seed for sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been such a bizarre year. I don't remember ever a year like this where the playoffs are pretty much decided in January. The strong teams, the eight strong teams were kind of no break. Could have even been earlier that, I don't even know. But I remember looking in January saying, this is pretty much what it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, the, they're really strong teams. Each Pittsburgh's not an eight seed either with Crosby and Malk. So it's the, what it is, and, and we got to beat everybody at some point, and I'm sure they're feeling the same way. And um, it is what it is. It's a new season anyways, regardless where you finished off in 82. It's, it's what we do now. We talked about it all year, but just, you, you, winning the home ice advantage, how good you guys have been at home. How important is it to start this series at home and how excited are you for, for game one come Tuesday in front of the home crowd? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously it's nice to get home ice, but we all know in the playoffs it doesn't really matter. I think for us the focus just has to be to play our best game, game one, and, and just worry about game one. I'd say it's kind of what you guys all year long like, you had all these accomplishments, and it was always like we haven't done anything in the playoffs yet. What, what did you guys learn from last playoff, like that short run that, that you can hopefully make in the playoffs this year? Uh, well, we, I think we learned how hard it is um, and, and what it takes, and, and we were watched firsthand how Tampa handled themselves and what it took for them to beat us, and we threw everything at them, and uh, they stayed resilient, they stayed within their game plan. Um, and that's something we want to do. We, we let some emotions take over last year, a few different games, either with the penalties or, or trying to make big hits and maybe getting away from how we have to play. So we have to manage those emotions. That's going to be a big thing for us. Um, and hopefully we learn. And, and this is going to be a great experience against a veteran team that um, is as deadly as anybody in the league. Bruno, this team has basically ignored narratives all year. You guys just shut up and play every day. But this time of year, it always, the stat always gets Well, I think if it's any indication from the whole season how we went through and, and how we grew as a group, um, I think we just we just keep you know just keep pushing on. I mean that's been our our mo all year. Um, kind of ignore the noise and 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 we know we we to to get to where we want to go it's going to take a lot and we're just worried about the process right now that day to day let's. And then that's been our mindset, like I said, all year, that we haven't worried big picture. We just worried about the next game. And it's going to be, hopefully, we learned, and it's imperative that we did learn because it's what it's going to take here. Let's take a question from the Zoom. Craig Minervini, Dallas Sports Florida. Hi, Coach. Do you feel like the style of the game will, will be more like 
sort of old-fashioned playoff hockey or or not the way the game has sort of evolved from maybe what it was. Even when you played postseason where it was tight check, it's playoff hockey, two one games. And your style hasn't been really like that. And how do those two things uh, mix now in playoffs? Well, I think um, I can't really predict how it's going to go. I think when you, you, you have a little bit of checking mentality, you do the right things, it's going to be those kind of games. Um, it's just similar, very similar to Tampa. It was exciting, it had some offense, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the tight checking that kind of wins. And um, we've been pretty good at it all year. I know we've, we've been loose at different times, um, but we've, we've, I think we've buckled down when we had to. And we haven't given up a whole lot on different nights. And I think we know that's the recipe that it's going to take. And, um, you know, when you do the right things, we talk about this all the time, the game will take care of itself. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for yeah. Yeah.